Now, I'm not talking about the automatic deal breakers like cheating or physical abuse. We digging a little bit deeper today. But one sign that you may need a new significant other, one sign that you may need a new mate, is when their needs always come above yours. You've officially become very, very low on their priority list. It didn't always used to be like that. They used to spend more time with you than anything else. And then life started happening, and before you knew it, you look in the mirror and things had changed. Or even vice versa. Maybe you put your needs way above theirs. I know I've been in relationships in the past where I had to look myself in the mirror and be like, bro, you are really neglecting your girl. And that's the moment in time that you have to ask yourself because I had to ask myself, is this relationship still a priority in my life? But in the same token, you never want to make assumptions. So when it's the other person that's neglecting you, don't assume that they're doing it on purpose. Because real talk, they may not even realize that they're neglecting you. That's why communication is so important. Because that's something that can change. I always say you probably can't change a person, but you can change a situation that, is, that can be scheduled. Sometimes it's just about making sure you add somebody to your calendar, add each other to your calendar. I know we're so busy in our lives, sometimes we have to make it a priority to schedule a date night, to schedule this, to schedule that. So ask, communicate, and find out what the real situation is. Sometimes it just is what it is. And it's time for you guys to shake hands and part ways and still be friends later on down the line. But another reason why it may be time for you to find yourself a new mate. Way too much unaccounted for time. You can't get in touch with him. You can't get in touch with her. They used to call you so much they got on your nerves. But now in the critical moments, now in the key times, you have no earthly idea where they at. And so it's crazy because when somebody goes out of town on a business trip or whatever the case may be, and you don't speak to them for two or three days straight, and you're trying to call, 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 mm, you have yourself a problem, my friend. Somebody's out, they say they're going out to the club with their homies, or their friends, their partners, girls, or whatever the case may be, you can't get in touch with them. Mm. But walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, just might be a duck. Now, I'm not saying that they're cheating, but I'm saying that they're probably cheating. But you don't have proof. So communication and conversations have to be had. And for the day, the third reason it may be time for you to find yourself a new mate is you finally realize that you've been settling. Yep, they have vices or they live in a way that does not align with your values. And you knew they had them when you first met them, but you thought you could change them. <laughs> I keep telling you, you cannot change a person. People do not change on your terms. They change on their terms if they ever change. But that's beside the point. What once was a small issue has now magnified tenfold. I had one of my friends call me one time and no disrespect to anybody that smokes, it's all good. But he knew he would never be with somebody that smoked. And he tried to be in a relationship with someone that smoked. He called me one morning. He was just like distraught. He's like, man, she smells like a human ashtray. I'm like, bro, hey, you knew that wasn't for you when you first met the person. So at that time, he had to make a choice. He had to make a decision. It could be a host of other things that you thought you could deal with, but you finally realize and are just a bit much for you. So again, Communication is the key. Conversations have to be had. And here's my deal. If a relationship needs to end when it should end, it's better for you to end it now than letting it stretch out three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And it finally comes to an end and you guys are all mad at each other and you're disgruntled and you hate each other. If you have conversations now and communicate, then you can mutually part ways in a peaceful manner. And thus, you create a win-win situation. That's what we all about here. In relationships, personal, family, business, it's all about win-wins. Because this is a great day to win. So let's find a way to make each and every day of our lives a Wednesday. Now do me a favor. Go be great and elevate. And if you find this video touched your heart, touched your soul, or provided you with good information, 
please share because there are a lot of people out there that definitely need to hear this one.